is, but I think you commit to him for a couple of reasons. One, I like having another ball handler with LeBron. I think that's why Rondo was so good with him. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I've I've even talked to Luke and other guys around the league about this. There's this idea that LeBron has to have the ball all the time, but where LeBron really excels is in those moments where he doesn't have to have the ball all the time. And then when he gets it, he can just attack. Right. And you got to have a guy who's confident enough to not defer all the time. When I watch Dennis play with LeBron, he doesn't always, you know, he'll get the ball. Sometimes he'll give it to LeBron. Sometimes he won't, you know, and it's, and you can just tell that he knows, okay, it's time for me to initiate and, you know, let LeBron go off to the wing. And then I, I get it back to him later. So, I, I definitely like that idea of having a guy like that. I think he's shown he can, you know, he can help defensively. He's crafty. He can get downhill. And the Lakers don't really have a history of having point guards who can do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the, you know, you know. Once you get past, are, are, are you saying game, that Derek Fisher was not a downhill player? Nah, not really. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> He's among the most downhill they've had in like the last twenty five years. I mean, it's right, really Van, you know. Van Exel was probably the last of those guys. I mean, I, I'm not a historian yeah. on this stuff. I miss guys. Yeah, I think all, it, I forget, it, probably, but... it definitely wasn't Smush Parker. I mean, you I know. think it's what they. No, I Smush, think Smush Parker went downhill, but yeah. he didn't go downhill. If that makes sense. Yeah, because <laughs> think about it. remember a few years ago when they traded for Ramon Sessions, and it was like, oh my oh, god, oh my god, a, they can run a pick and roll. It was like, oh. I remember so that, yeah. Sessions was going to revolutionize what they did in L.A. I totally remember that. <laughs> I, I remember. Yeah, so uh, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I think, you know, age wise, every, I, I like the fit. I mean, to get him for a first round pick and Danny Green, I thought was a great move by Rob. So I think you definitely keep him around, especially as long as, you know, you know, he's got good chemistry with LeBron and A.D. And you get, plug him in and let him just kind of grow and do what he does. I mean, it's like he's been in the league forever, but he's not that old. 